So I've talked about a lot that self-confidence and self-worth is uh, at the forefront of, you know, anxiety and, and depression. And it uh, makes a lot of sense, obviously, that, you know, if you don't have the confidence in yourself to back yourself in any situation, you're always going to feel uneased. So today I'm going to talk about ways that I build my self-confidence and self-worth. So again, it's not the Bible, it's just one perspective, one man's perspective on what worked for him. Take it as you please. So, you have to do things that make you step out of your comfort zone. That's number one. You have to prove to yourself that you are worthy, that you are confident. That takes, whether it be, you know, doing a public speaking event for me, at the time, it was only 80 people that I had to talk in front of, and I was shitting myself like it was hard. Now, you know, it wouldn't bother me 80, but at the time, it was tough. And that was just one little win that I was like, well, you know what, man, you, you got through it, you know, you done well. And that's not going to get you confident straight away, not at all, at all, not even worthy. But it's one little thing that goes into the jar of you being awesome, okay? Then I've done triathlons, a couple of them, and again, that didn't make me confident or worthy, but it's another thing that I can put into the jar. So what I'm, what I'm getting at here is that you build up a list of all the accomplishments and achievements that you've done in the past, right? And you go out and, of your way now in, in the present moment to do even more, and you keep doing them, right? You keep stepping out of your comfort zone, and these things add up over time and when you consciously be grateful it's great to be great you know gratitude's all in now isn't it be grateful for the universe be grateful for god be grateful for being alive how about being grateful for being who you are how about for being grateful for just being you the ultimate there's no second person in this world that's better than you at being you you're it as alan watts would say why can't you be grateful for that now, it is tough to do. For some reason, the psyche just doesn't want to uh, appreciate how good it is. But little things like accomplishments are a great way to make that process a lot easier. So go and make a list of what you've done in high school and what you did as a kid and all the compliments you ever received. Make a mental note or even write them in your journal if you're stubborn. Write them all down and then go and pursue some new things to do now that make you step out of your comfort zone. That's a great, well that's the, what, what really was a great help for me to become confident and feel worthy. But that's only 50% of the job. The other 50 is just, the, it's where it's at. And what that is, is your mentality, your mindset. Now, the caveat here is, is that you have to look after your physiology first. I've said it before, Make sure you're eating well, moving enough, sleeping on time, drinking enough water, having enough quiet time, doing things that make you happy. Physiology first. Whenever it comes to upgrading your psychology, upgrading your mindset, you have to slow down your mind. And the only way you slow down your mind is through physiology first. Always remember that. Then you have to, to become self-confident and self-worthy, you have to brainwash yourself and tell yourself how fucking good you are. You have to tell yourself that you are the best, right? And this is the hardest thing for people to do. Affirmations are great, but they're not, they're very short lived unless you do them with the utmost emotion and truth and honesty. Because the reality is, you are the best. You're the best at you. There is no other you, so you have to be the best, right? Then you go back and you look at your accomplishments. And that reinforces that you are the best. Then every day, every single thought you have, if you come up with a challenge, you say, I've got this. I've got this. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission to go there. Whatever comes in my way, it's a lesson. I'll deal with it. That's the winner's mindset. That's the winner's mentality. That's how you become confident. You have to tell yourself you're confident before you actually are and become confident. That's just the way it works. So the mind game is the most important bit, second to proving and acknowledging and being grateful for just being you. Use that great, great gratitude for yourself to reinforce how good you are, how much you've done, how tough you are. Me personally, whenever I come up with challenges, I always remind myself I'm the toughest mofo out there. 
Now, it may not be true, it doesn't matter. But me just telling myself that I'm tough just lets me keep going forward. It doesn't paralyze me. When I, when, when I get a voice saying, Shane, you're tough, man. No one could go through this like you can. I keep moving forward. And that's how I've gone through every single challenge in my life. Luckily, I've been able to say that from the very start. And that's how you move through challenges. And when you move through challenges, that's when you actually become confident and worthy. It's no easy feat. But you have to acknowledge that you are the best because you are you. And then tell yourself on a daily basis that you're tough and you can take on any situation that comes up. When you talk with that kind of emotion and passion and truth, that's an affirmation. That's when affirmations do work. Not the flimsy look in the mirror, I love you, you know, doesn't work.